Throughout my childhood and adolescence, I had a lot of people make fun of me. From things that I said, they would make fun of what I said, how I said it, when I said it, whatever. They would find a way to make fun of me and I would suppress a little more each time, right? Just hold back a little more each time and just a little more shy and reserved and quiet and holding everything inside of me because I was afraid of how people would judge me and how they would see me. Would they accept me? Would they like me? And that kept happening throughout my life. Through my adolescence and high school and things like that. And each time, there was a little more of me holding back. And then someone would make fun of how I was dressed, for example. And I would try to dress more like other people so that I wouldn't be different. And what's funny is that when they made fun of how I was dressed, I was already trying to be like other people. So that's an interesting point too. But every time that someone made fun of me, I think that wound that started very early in childhood went a little deeper kind of like a thorn going each time a little deeper into your heart and a little more pain and a lot of the healing work that I've done and one of the possible reasons why I've lacked confidence throughout most of my life self-esteem self-worth is because I was I was seeing my worth through the eyes of other people who can't even see their own worth. So I would see that people would make fun of me and I thought there's something wrong with me. I need to change something. I need to be more like them so that I can be more liked by them. And through the years I've realized the most powerful way of healing that is forgiveness. I've done a lot of work on that and healing through whichever way resonates with you the most. If you ideally you want to be in a very relaxed state. You want to be in a meditation, sitting outside in nature at your favorite spot. Or if you can't do that, that's okay. Just close your eyes and visualize you being very relaxed in your favorite place in the world. And get into a very relaxed state. And imagine those people in front of you or next to you. And first of all, give, so there's two sides to this. Give that part of you a voice. Give that wound a voice. Give your inner child a voice. Give your heart a voice. Give your, that younger self an opportunity to speak up. Because you repressed and held back so much that now is the time to speak up. Not in an aggressive way, you don't need to do that. If you feel like doing that, that's okay. But give that a chance to speak up, to say what he needs to say, to get it out. So it is not affecting you so much on the inside anymore. So give that part a voice and let it all come out. All of it. And you can do that through journaling too. You can grab a, a recorder and just, or use your phone and just record yourself speaking out loud but ideally ideally you want to vocalize it but if journal is is your thing then please use the journal and take advantage of that and once you get all of it out now it's way easier to get into empathy and compassion i feel like if you do it before that sometimes it's not as authentic as real as deep as if you first get it all out. So I invite you to do that, get it all out and then shift to a place of, but I now see that you were making fun of me because you were made fun of.
I saw that I see that you treated me poorly because you were treated poorly. I see that you were aggressive towards me because you had been treated that way as well. And you can put yourself in their shoes. Please put yourself in their shoes and realize that only hurt people hurt people, right? We hear that all the time and it's so true. If they hurt you, it's because they've been hurt. And you don't know their story. You can't judge from the outside and say, no, but they have a perfect life. You don't know what they've gone through. So put yourself in their shoes. And realize that anyone who's hurting has been a victim of someone else hurting them. And then through that empathy, through that compassion, you might even feel their pain. And now you can forgive them. Now you can truly deeply forgive them and talk to them. Whatever conversation you need to have inside of you, you don't need to say, you can say it out loud in your car, in your bedroom, out on the beach by yourself, in a forest by yourself, out in a park, in a hiking trail, wherever. Say it out loud or say it to yourself. But now you can truly deeply forgive them because you understand why they were doing that. They had so much pain inside of them, they needed to get it out somehow. Somehow they needed to get that out. And you just happened to be in front of them at that time. And I know they get it out in many people sometimes. But I now see the empowerment of having had so many people make fun of me throughout my life. Because now, as I cultivate more, more self-worth, as I cultivate more confidence, it's coming from a deep foundation because I went deep into that hole of feeling like crap, being so insecure. And I can assure you that these things that I've shared with you right now in this video have truly changed my life over time. I'm not here to promise you that this is going to heal everything. I'm not here to tell you that this is the answer for everything and for everyone. I don't have the answers. I just share ideas and things that I've used. But what I can assure you is that this over time, the more that I apply this, the more that I cultivate this, the easier and easier it gets to put myself in other people's shoes, to be able to have empathy and compassion for them, and to be able to forgive them. And the funny, interesting thing about forgiveness is that eventually you forgive so much that you realize there's nothing to forgive. Because everything that happened was a blessing to get you to where you are right now. If it wasn't for that pain, who knows if I would have gone inside and healed what I've healed. If it wasn't for everything that happened, who knows who I would be right now. Right? Those battles that we fought, the, the, the scars that we have, make us who we are. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So that's it. I just wanted to share that. Hoping that it helps if you need to. Uh, if you feel that it resonates and if you feel like you would benefit from that, then I highly invite you to give that a try. And I truly hope that helps. Have a beautiful day.